Hello guys and welcome back to another Simple J Reviews. You're probably wondering, do you have the setup's different? I know, I know what you're all thinking. Yes, got a microphone as well, you should use my camera mic. Let me just explain a little bit. So I thought, you need for these Love Island videos for the World Cup. You're right, you're up on me go all over there. So what I'm thinking is to start doing podcasting, stuff like that. Obviously I'm still going to be doing the normal videos, I'm still going to be doing my other stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Yada yada yada, you get me? But what I'm also going to be doing is these podcast things, which you'll be able to download on my SoundCloud account, which is Simple Joe Reviews. So if you type in go on SoundCloud Simple Joe Reviews, you can be able to get these podcasts that I do. You'll know if you'll take podcasts in it, you'll be able to download the audio. Listen, if you're on on the way to work, if you're on the way to school, if you're on the way to work, whatever you do, you can download it when I do my podcast. Because I'm using my microphone audio. You get me, you get me. I'm just trying something a little bit different. Also, I'm going to be doing podcasts for World Cup as well. Usually, I would have my brother in or someone else. Sometimes I will be on my own. Don't get wrong, don't get me wrong, if that makes sense. But yes, my brother was meant to be here, but he's busy with college and all that. So, it's going to be pretty good, guys. It's nice and exciting to do something different for you guys. I thought, why not do a podcast? Reach out there. But yes, one more time, Simple Joe Reviews on Soundcast. I was going to call myself Simple Joe podcast on SoundCloud but for stick to the YouTube name, stick to my name on everything I use pretty much. The simple Joe reviews you know what to do. Now guys, let's get cracking. Yes guys. So Love Violin has been pretty mental. Also guys, I will be releasing a podcast on Love Violin every Wednesday each week talk about the weekly clip gossip stuff like that. It was a bit, bit earlier but it weren't you know we're having problems with you know editing and stuff like that. But anyway we're here guys yes. So Love Island. It, it's it's a bit naughty in it. So we saw the first the first episode where everyone came in, everyone matched up. You know, we had I forgot the names. That's why I've got the names there. You know, we had Laura, which is the arrow test, blah blah blah, who coupled up with Wes. Then we had Danny, who coupled up with Jack. Then we had Haley that coupled up with. Eyal. Everyone always knows about how how to say that. Do you say Eyal or Eyal? They can throw it away. Throw it away. Eyal. Throw it away. Yes, Eyal. And then we had Samira who coupled up with Alex, even though them two we, we'll talk about that later. With Kendall and who did you know? Oh yeah, Kendall and I all coupled up. And then obviously Adam came in with the bombshell. This dude, I'm not liking at the minute, you know, he's doing a bit of my nutting, you know. So he comes in and obviously he gets to choose who he's going to choose the next day. So the episode goes on as we've seen, you know. I look at it, I'm like, Kendall, Kendall and Niall look like they're getting on really well. And at the start, I've got to be honest, they were my favourite couple. Straight up, I just love the way the words, they were proper chill with each other. I thought Niall seems a really nice lad. He's got the banter, you know, he's got the big and that's what I'm like, it reminds me of me, well, <laughs> kind of, it's like, <laughs> he always says, oh, his image doesn't get the ladies, it's a personality, I feel like sometimes that's the stuff for me, I don't know, what do we all say, I don't know, you know, but yeah, so, I thought Niall and Kendall was really nice, they seem nice, you know, Samir and Ali, let's be honest, completely opposite, they did not like each other, you know, I, <laughs> Samira doesn't seem to get any attention from any of the left a minute, and so does Nally. She he doesn't get any from the guild, you know. But I've, I've looked at all social media, your Twitter, stuff like that. A lot of people are commenting that Alex seems to be dealing with a lot worse than Samira. Samira just doesn't really, is not saying much. Like no one's realising she's not getting any attention from lads either, you know. But we're only seeing it from Alex, and everyone's feeling sorry for Alex, especially in episode two where we saw Hayley pie him off in the kissing challenge. That is so muggy. You can't just do that, you know. He gives another kiss. She moves away. I, I mean, that is muggy. To me, if someone did that, I would like, give him a slap on the face. You know, hey, do you think you are some model from Liverpool? Well, she is, but you know, you know, I, I just think that was a bit harsh in Alex. He's not doing anything wrong. He seems an nice guy. You know, give him a bit of respect. You know, who else have we got? Jack and Danny. Yes, you know, Jack and Danny. I do like that couple of the both from Essex. So you know, the, I think everyone thinks they might get the final. I've seen a lot on Twitter as well, guys. People saying that. They seem like, you know, they could be the favourites to win. But I'm unsure, you know, you seen episode 2, guys, yesterday. They seem a bit rocky roads, you know. It seemed a bit, uh, all a bit here, all a bit there, you know. It didn't seem all there, just because you had Jack, and then you had, obviously, 
Danny, and then that on episode two, <coughs> clear my boat. In episode two, you have that that little situation there where that quote came out about Jack Jack saying, you know, he's cheated on all his past girlfriends, and then he said, oh, I've only had two, and then Danny was like, well, that's a bit muggy, you know. You might have only had two girlfriends, but you're still cheating. You could have only had one. So that point, I thought, mm, you know what? It's not looking too good for Jack and Danny. But I personally think Jack will swing around. He's got the gift of the gap. I think he will swing Danny around, and I think they will give it a go. Because they don't really know each other for long, so I think it's a bit quick to just say, oh, blah, 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 you know. So them two, I'm, you know. Then we have Laura and West. You know what? I think Laura starts to change your mind because Adam came on the scene and Laura was all over him. We know that. We all know Laura was all over him. Be honest, he was. You know, Laura was like, oh, come on, Adam, blah, blah, blah. And then, as we know, the big bombshell, Adam picked Kendall, but we'll come on that later. But yes, obviously, so Laura knew she didn't get picked. And I feel like she changed ever since then because with the quote saying about West, oh, we spent a £1,000 on her first day, you know, Laura went, Bing! Her, ma her eyes tinged, and then you saw after it when she was talking to the girl. She was like, "Oh, I should have seen my lie west." It's like, "I ain't saying you're a gold digger." I think, I think gold digger. You know, I think the gold digger. Oh, she, she's 29. He's a 20 year old. I can see she's thinking gold digger. Oh, he's got a bit of money. Oh, he'll be alright. Oh, let's just go with him. You know, I, th I feel sorry for West because he seems a nice lad, and she seems a bit of a. Ain't I saying she's a gold digger? You know, but to be honest, she looks. You know, everyone was saying she's very similar to Olivia, but I think Olivia was... I, I, I knew where they're coming from, they, they look similar, but I think Olivia might have been a bit more... I don't know if she's genuine. We don't really know, it's only been two days, you know, so we, I'm a bit unsure on that, but they're very, very similar in a way. There is differences, but very similar, I've got to be honest. I have got to be honest, guys, about that. You know, then also, yes, like I said, Adam got to choose who he wants to do the game with. Adam got to choose, and who did he choose? It, it blew me away, and I think it blew everyone on Love Island away. No one thought Adam was going to go for Kendall. Let's be honest. I thought in the running was Danny or Laura. I thought Laura, he was going to pick just because how much they talk, and that's kind of the safe option. But Adam, like he says, he does what he wants, and he gets what he wants. If he wants it, he'll get it. He's not stepping on, he, he does not care about stepping on anyone's toes. And I'm like, all right, mate, but you know, is it going to work? But he, he, he seemed to pull it off. Adam was like, the one I'm going to pick is. Kendall, you know, and then he picks Kendall. I'm like, are oh, you mad? You're picking Kendall. Now he's gonna go mad. But no, to be honest, now it took him a while, but he was hiding his feelings so, so much. He obviously, I mean, obviously, Niall wanted Kendall and he wanted to say how he actually felt, but he was just, like he said, he was just sugarcoating and saying, oh yeah, it's fine, enjoy your day, blah, 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 you know. But don't be like that, just say, I'll be here when you come back, you know, I do actually like him. And then if you do that, you know, he might be like, oh, you know what, he actually does like me, you know, but he didn't do that, so he might have shot himself in the pub because I think Kendall's going to go without him, you can see it all over, you know, Kendall's like, oh, I wish, you know, I think this was muggy, oh, well, I'll fight for me, for a minute, it just falls off, but yeah, I think it's a little bit muggy, I've got to be honest, a little bit muggy of Kendall saying, oh, I wish I could bind you two together, you know, you don't say that at all, that's a muggy, you're basically saying you are a male personality in Adam's body, and uh, you know, if that was me, if a girl came to me, oh, I don't know if you choose, sack them all. I don't want to be no number two. You know, you see, if a girl likes you, which you don't, yeah, they can have other boys in mind. But if you're saying that, nah, mate, you're better than that, get out of there. Honestly, guarantee you'll be able to couple with someone because all the girls seem to get on with you well, mate. No, nah, you're a nice lad, I do like nice. He should just get out of there. He's a ship house of, honestly, Kendall. Let Kendall crack him without him, and then as soon as another girl comes in, Adam's going to be on him, we know it, Adam's that type of guy who'll just fling around, he's basically the new Muggy Mike from last year, he's literally Muggy Adam, you know, or Annoying Adam, you know, let's go with Annoying Adam, hashtag Annoying Adam, you know, he does my head in, yeah, he seems a nice guy, but I just, you know, I don't know, I don't know, he just seems a bit, he just seems a bit fake to me, Adam, you know, he just thinks he's all this and all that, yeah, he's a good looking lad, don't get me wrong, you know, I can't match up to him, you know, I'm, I mean, even Niall's a good looking lad, but he, he thinks he's not compared to apparently the Greek warrior, basically, you know. But, yeah, it's, it's a hard one, I, feel, I do feel sorry for him. But the one who I feel sorry for the most, even though Niall's in a bit of a bad situation, is Alex. He's getting pied off left, right and centre. He needs some new two girls, which they are two new girls, as we know. We've got, who are the new girls? I know one of them, because I like one of them. One of them's Rosie, which is 26. 
Yeah, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yes, it is. Yes, I was right. Yeah, so we've got Rosie coming in tonight. In tonight's episode, we've got Rosie Williams, 26, and it's a solicitor. Solicitor. There we go. Oh, she seems a bit alright. Yeah, anyone know a number? Because I don't mind texting her. I have no chance. But yeah, um, and yeah, we have to vote who we want to go on a date with who. So we've got Rosie coming in, and we've also got Georgia, George Steele coming in, who's 20 years old. You know, they're both a sort. They're both a bit alright. To be honest, I do prefer Rosie. She's got dark hair, which I do prefer, and she's a bit older, mature lady, what we say in. Where, you know, Georgia seems alright, but I think she might go in organs blades and like you know what I'm 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 the I'm the king gay it's like look hold on I don't think you are thank you very much yeah ship off you know but we, we don't know what's gonna happen but we have to vote for two people who want to go in I want Alex and Niall to go on the date so that's me I didn't even vote I probably should do but if I could choose I want Alex and Niall to both go on the date see the lovely lady and see what happens because I feel like they deserve it, you know, out of all the other people, I think they're kind of all right, sort of, especially Adam, if people favourite Adam, I'm going to be so annoyed, because Adam does my head in at the minute, he's my least favourite at the minute, he's a nice guy, but he does my head in, and my favourite geese at the minute would be now, but the girls at the minute, not including Rosie or Georgia, would be my least favourite, see Kendall was my favourite, because she's kind of annoying me with the comments, comment. so I'm putting her a bit lower down, but, um. Laura's my least favourite, she's just a bit monkey and stuff like that. And my favourite at the minute is Danny. I do love Danny, she's really cool, she's funny, she has personality, she's just fun and she's coming across really well on the line. So, you know, it's all swings around about it, it's all swings around about it, you know. I'm looking forward to what's to come in this week. Obviously guys, next week's going to be more to talk about because it's a bit even longer one, stuff like that. I just want to make this quick video guys on my YouTube channel and my podcast, putting them both together, letting you know that I'm going to be doing podcasts Remember guys, SoundCloud, Simple Joe Reviews. If you're already on SoundCloud, this is this guys. How hope you're right. And I'm Joe, obviously. But if you're listening on my YouTube channel, as I know a lot of you will be, because you're awesome. Hope you're well, guys. And yes, if you're new channel, press the red button and become a simpleton. I know this will be on SoundCloud as well. So, you know, follow me on SoundCloud as well, guys. Me in the world. And yes, loads more podcasts will be coming and more normal videos as well. But Love is going to be cool. I can't wait till it all kicks off in the coming weeks. It's going to kick off really two new girls coming in. But I'm going to say goodbye, guys, in a bit. I'm buzzing. Love Island, Love Island, Love Island. Here we go. I'll see you in a bit, guys. In a bit. Peace out.